Hello all and welcome to the VHDL crash course. My name is Sanat. I will be giving you all the lectures included in this short playlist. The videos of this playlist will be available for everyone, even if you are not a student at TU Dortmund. I would like to just re-emphasize the importance of the copyright regulations as it is not allowed to reproduce or to edit this contents and the materials or forward it to third parties. What you will learn from these videos will be really helpful to get you through the HAPRA module and also give you the basic building blocks for you to then build on your knowledge and become a master in VHDL and simulation. We will basically implement the digital circuits which you have learned and got to know in the rational structure and module in your previous semesters. These include gates, multiplexers, encoders, adders, multiplexers, and memory components, etc. At the end of the Hapra module, you will be able to implement and expand the MIPS processor, whereby we will give you the essential design steps as an aid. Hopefully, after the Hapra module, you will be able to develop your own processor from scratch. For the implementation of all circuits, we use what is called a hardware description language, VHDL, which is what this playlist is based on. If you have any questions regarding the Hapra module, please make sure to either contact one of the three mails included below or use the Hapra forum available in Moodle. You will also each be assigned a tutor, which should be able to answer any inquiries you have. Firstly, in the first video of the playlist, we will go through the softwares you need throughout this module and the basic steps in order to install them. The first soft software you will need is called Notepad++. It is a simple text editor which can understand VHDL, and you can use it to write your own VHDL programs on. Firstly, I will, I will pause the recording and open my browser to show you how to install Notepad++. Once you open your browser, you will need to type in Notepad++ and then click on the downloads link and choose the latest version. Click on download once again. And once the installation is complete, you need to open the installer, press on yes, and choose the English language, or you can choose also the German or whatever language you want. You can press on OK, and then next, agree, and then choose where your Notepad++ should reside, then press on next, next, and finally, I want a shortcut a shortcut on my desktop, so I, cl uh, I, I click on this, and finally, I install. Once Notepad++ is installed, you will be greeted with this kind of tab. We can press on this, button right here, which starts a new source code. And to write programs in VHDL, what you need to do is press on the language tab, scroll down to V, and finally choose VHDL. This way, you can write your own VHDL program on Notepad++. Another software we will need throughout the Hapra module is GTK Wave, which will allow us to view the waveform of our design and analyze the simulation. In addition to GTK Wave, we will need something called GHDL. GHDL is a VHDL compiler that, com that can compile and execute any VHDL program which in our case, we will also need to download, download this. I will now show you how to download GTK Wave and GHDL. Before we start our downloads, 
we will need to create a new folder in our C directory. So we double click on this PC, we go to the C folder and simply create a new folder. We can call it EDA. I will, I will let you know in a moment why we created this new folder. Once we do that, we will open our browser and we will type in ghdl. Once we do that, there is a ghdl GitHub repository. We need to press on that. And then on the right hand side, you can find releases, the releases tab, you should press on it and look either for the latest release or in our case, the version 0.37 will do the job. And I need to download the ghdl-0.37 minkw64-llvm.zip. We can download that. And also we will need to download GTK Wave. So we simply type in GTK Wave. We press on the link. And if you are a Windows or an OS user, you need to press on this here. And you need to choose the right version. In our case, the right version we need is the GTK Wave-3.3.100-bin-1.0. dash 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 Windows 64. And finally, we press on this download latest version tab. As you can see, your download will start shortly in three seconds. And what we need to do until this download finishes, we can open this right here and extract the ghdl to our, to our created folder. So we browse our tab, go to this PC, then the C folder and press on EDA and extract the ghdl there. And similarly, we need to extract also the GTK wave to the same folder. Once you do that, you can close all your tabs and go to your EDA folder. What we need to do is for some apparent reason, the ghdl gets downloaded inside of this folder. So we need to basically remove it from inside of this folder and paste it here and then simply delete this one right here. I don't know why I'm facing some trouble with the download, but this seems to work. Once you do that, you have these two folders. What you need to do right now is go to your PC, this PC, right click, press on properties, and scroll down to the advanced system settings, press on environment variables, and find your path and your system variables. Once you do that, you click on the path and then edit. And you need, we need two new paths, A and B. We can edit, uh, we need to browse our A. So we browse it to this PC, the C folder, and then our EDA, and we choose the GHDL bin folder. Once we do that, we can press on OK. And similarly, we can do that to the GTK Wave installation, the C folder, EDA, GTK Wave, bin, and we press on OK. Once we do that, this is everything we need to do to install our program. I will now show you that this actually works and I will open GTK Wave right in front of you and compile using GHDL. We now opened uh, Windows PowerShell. You can use also any uh, terminal you want. We will type in ghdl-a and then your vhdl. 
folder, your, your VHDL file, and git dot THDL. What the dash A does is simply analyze this component or this file. And I have also a script file to open GTK Wave. As you can see, GTK Wave opened, no problem, and the installation worked. We will discuss how to open it in more depth in later videos, how to open GTK Wave and the compilation commands and everything in later videos. So don't worry. This was just an installation video. Uh, basically, I think this is it for today's video. Uh, I hope uh, you can follow the, these simple steps in order to download and install the recommended software by the Hapra team. Uh, another text editor you can use is the Atom text editor. Uh, Furthermore, uh, we will provide you uh, the basic files you need to download on the Moodle page. So uh, you don't need to actually worry about finding the right uh, version of GHDL or GTK Wave uh, or Notepad++. Everything will be provided to you on the Moodle website. You just need to follow the simple steps I showed you in this video. I thank you very much for your attention and see you next time.